Well, hi there, everybody, and good Thursday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here. For many of us, a very quiet start to our day, a little cloudy out there and even a little foggy in some places. We do have some scattered showers and storms in eastern parts of Nebraska, but those should be clearing out rather quickly. Now, the big question today is how much cloud cover do we actually see because that will be a big factor in our temperatures this afternoon for highs. Uh, I'm going a little bit below forecast models just because I think the clouds may hold us back just a little bit. Late this afternoon, and this is a little underwhelming, actually, I do think we're going to start to see some scattered showers showers and thunderstorms by the uh, mid to late afternoon hours near this area of low pressure and this cold front that start to pass through the area. With enough instability, some strong, maybe some severe thunderstorms will be a possibility. So one of the best time frames for uh, thunderstorm activity is probably going to be during the early evening hours here in the Tri-Cities area. That will start to shift eastward later on in the night. Some lingering activity in central Nebraska, but I think by later on in the night around midnight, the brunt of the showers and thunderstorms will be pushing through eastern portions of Nebraska. And then later in the night into early tomorrow morning, again, maybe a little bit of wraparound moisture, but not looking for a lot of additional rain out of the system once uh, we get into the early morning hours tomorrow. Some lingering clouds early, again, it shows precipitation. I'm not expecting much for your Friday other than maybe early in the day. Uh, partly cloudy skies for most of the day tomorrow, and it will be a little cooler tomorrow on the backside of the system. But that's very temporary as we are going to see heat try to build into the area. Marginal risk of severe weather for uh, later today and into this evening here uh, for much of central eastern Nebraska, northern Kansas. Again, not a big severe weather threat later on today, but maybe not of the question we see a strong or severe storm later on. Temperatures for today, and again, these will highly be dependent on cloud cover for today, but this is what I'm going with for now. Mid and maybe upper 80s to the north. To the west, upper 80s around Lexington, otherwise low, and maybe even mid 90s around the uh, McCook area. To the south, we're looking at temperatures uh, mid, mid to upper 80s around the Tri-Cities, and then to the south and northern Kansas, lower and maybe even mid 90s, and to the east, mid to upper 80s. For the uh, next seven days here, we cool it back a little bit for tomorrow on the back side of that system, but then we're right back into the mid and upper 80s for your weekend, which is a bit of a change from my previous forecast here. I have brought those temperatures up a little bit for the weekend, lots of sunshine. Next week, a little on the toasty side for this time of the year, a little bit above average, upper 80s, lower 90s. Plenty of sunshine. I have kept out chances of rain for now. If we do see any rain, the best chances would be out west, mainly during the nighttime hours there for well Monday night and again on Tuesday night. But again, not very good chances worth a mention at this point. Uh, so fairly inactive weather, but kind of a perfect time for the state fair there. We are going to see that warming uh, trend here. We're going to warm things up and feel a little uncomfortable by the time we get into next week. So there's your forecast for today. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Glineski. Hope you have a great Thursday.